Hey, so I uh, wanted to put up another video. It is that time of the year where folks are doing their physical inventory counts. And with all 38,000 RMS users still mostly using RMS, thought I'd do a quick overview of the physical inventory count feature function in Microsoft RMS. No, this is just a quick overview. This is not a substitute for more detailed training, but just to give you kind of a, a general feel for how the physical inventory process works in Microsoft RMS. So I'm in RMS Store Operations Manager, and I'm going to go to Inventory, Physical Inventory. And first time on this one, so there are no past counts showing. So I'm going to go New. And then here's where you get a lot of options. And this is kind of cool. It does not mean that you have to do the whole store at once. You can do, like it shows here, different departments, categories, suppliers. You can do spot checks. You can do a blank. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the stock for everything. We'll hit OK. And I'm going to just create a quick reference number. And I'm going to say this is 2016 physical inventory count. And we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to look at it. And I'm going to expand the screen so it's a little easier here. And so now there are two ways of doing this, basically. Or three, I guess. I mean, you could just take the computer around, look, and then see what was on the shelf and start entering the quantities. You can use a handheld device, which would create a file that the one would be imported. Now, that file with most data collection devices, it's real basic. It's basically referencing the lookup code, which is going to be the barcode in most cases, and then what was counted using the device. And then it's going to populate this field here along with the count date. Uh, I do not have a data collection device hooked up, so I'm just going to enter a few of these. We won't do all, because uh, obviously this would be extremely boring. So when we are done, let's pretend that this is all we counted. So ignore the rest here. And in this case, again, I'm not using the data collection device. We are going to go down to calculate and then we'll get our little pop-up box here. And then we're going to get this report. And basically it is going to tell us where we have discrepancies. And then it will tell us what to do. Uh, looks like it's a little misformatted on the screen that I'm using here, but I'm running this on a tablet, so it doesn't always size correctly, but basically it's giving us what was counted, what was expected, and if we want to go back and do a recount or what we're going to need to do. Notice that I can't go in and just change these. I have to do a change, basically, so a recount. And then I can go in and make the necessary adjustments. Now, we will calculate again. If we are truly happy with what we have counted, even if it's off from what RMS thinks you have in stock, then we can hit commit. And that will commit in. Since this is a demo database, I really can't hurt anything. So I'm going to go ahead and hit commit. We'll get a warning. It's like, it's going to change stuff. Are you sure you want to do that? And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And there you go. So basically, that is the process. It is pretty cool. Obviously not super fancy, but it gets the job done. So there you go. Thanks.